<laughs> Everyone. Let me have last sip, you guys. Last sip. You see, coffee is like cigarette to me. But did, no, I'm not smoking. Don't get confused. I am not smoking. I'm just saying it's it's more like cigarette. It's addictive. Okay, so that's why I've gotta every once in a while I've gotta have one of those sips. Okay, okay. Enough of that. Let's see what we gotta do at the moment. Okay, this is the problem right here. Seven point four five. And in case you haven't checked out the book we working on in case you don't know this is it right here okay we're working on 7.5 you can pause the video read through the question i'm not going to why i've already given a solution on this exercise so what i'll simply do is is to give another one however this time around this will apply a concept which we haven't covered yet in fact, which is not covered on the YouTube channel. But it is there on my website, okay? I just thought you guys gotta have something to research on. Besides, it's always a good... Uh, way of learning to have things to research okay it's it is that is considered as a a great way of knowing things or rather learning things try to be as ahead as possible compared to other students compared to other students or whoever you might be taking classes with okay so what i did is read this through first Okay, this part right here, I'm not going to read it through. You can see it, okay? Uh, so, what I did is I created my scanner, as you can see, for the sake of minimizing time. And I created this array to hold 10 elements. And I'm prompting the user to enter those 10 elements, those 10 numbers. Okay, and this is where the magic happens, okay? I'm reading the entire line of string okay on that string i'm invoking the split method we worked with strings you guys so i presume you guys are familiar with this method okay the oh perhaps you you know it because it returns an array okay and back then when we were still working on uh, strings we did not know a thing about arrays okay so yeah this is it right there you guys this split method it returns an array okay separated by whatever regular expression you're gonna put within here again i'm not gonna go deeper what the heck is a regular expression okay okay right here i'm validating as you can see Okay, this is the magic now. This is where the magic happens. This is the core of this exercise. Okay, rather than doing things the way we did previously, I'll create this object here, a linked hash set. I know before on my previous video I told you guys we will be working with the linked link with the linked list. I was mistaken. I meant a linked hash set. Okay. So. Okay. A linked hash set of integers. Okay. List of numbers. Or oh, I should perhaps go set of numbers. Set of numbers. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll go linked hash set. If you can, this is all object oriented, you guys, together with data structures. 
okay it's object oriented programming in a way that this is a class and we're creating an object of the class and that object is called set num set of numbers okay you can think of this as creating a scanner you guys okay we give a, a class name which is scanner and object name which is reader and then you go equals new and then you specify the class name okay yeah yeah you guys the constructs and again i don't want to create confusion here i only want you guys to do a research on this thing on this uh on this uh data structure called linked hash sets okay <laughs> okay so i'll simply go in i equals to zero what i'll do i'll add each and every element in the numbers array there is basically what i'll be doing and the reason is and the reason why i'm not doing this is because you see just like any other set a set is a collection of distinct elements okay so that's why we're having this linked hash sets there are there is a variation of sets right there are linked hash sets there are tree sets and other sets as well but i decided to go for a linked hash set on this example uh, I wait it is numbers is what Seems like we're gonna have to make this a list of strings. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know oops <laughs> and do that wasn't intentional okay now that I've got the current number I'll simply add it on my list on my set of numbers dot add integer dot pass int and I'll put number in here Okay, once I'm done doing that, I can, oops, 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 I can simply go, mm. system dot out dot print, lin, then, the number of distinct numbers is it's actually the size of our set set of numbers dot length i mean dot size okay 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 now the in the road print the distance numbers are I'll go let me use the for each loop for each integer number in set of numbers i 
I presume people are familiar with the enhanced for loop and it has nothing to do with the fact that we working with the uh, linked hash set here we could simply use I okay we could simply go for the kind of a for loop we used to which is to go int i equals to zero is i less than equal to set of less than equal to the size of set of numbers and then i plus plus we could get away using that but then i thought you know what let's just do things differently this time around i'll display number i'll then leave a space Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hit the run button and see what we get. Reader. Oh, I haven't yet. I did. Let me close my reader. Close. In order to take care of that warning. I hate warnings. Not a zip. Wow, now point a number format. Oops, 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 not you. Wait, wait, wait. Are we having a null pointer? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is what I meant. In fact, we do not need that numbers array. Damn. We don't need that. And you know why are we having this error in the first place? It's because I copied and I copied and pasted this portion from my the portion above this object here from my previous solution. So that's why <laughs> There was a little bit of confusion. Okay, okay, okay. Now that I've taken care of that, we shouldn't have any problems. You better work, damn ass. Oh, just so you know, I'll be, as you can see, we have a working solution. Just so you know, I'll be having uh, many of these uh, kinds of exercises or other solutions. And the reason is I want you guys to know that it's better to have, to always have something to do a little bit of research on. So I'll keep uploading videos such as this one here videos that will apply concepts that we haven't yet covered okay that's gonna be it for this tutorial you guys again jump onto this website right here if you wanna see more of my content starting from chapter 9 onwards which is object oriented programming see you guys on the next tutorial I'm going